Hello everybody and welcome once again to Pneumaticraft for a pressure ride to Minecraft 115. So today we've got a few things to do. I actually was lucky. I went and found a ship and in the ship there were some of these amorphic tiles which require plastic normally. Let's have a quick look at that. If we have a look at this. Oh. So these are amorphic tiles. I think they require plastic. If I can see them. <laughs> I can't see them just straight away. Let's just type in tile here we go ah, slightly grey so oh, these are made in the assembly controller are they okay so one block of quartz will make this we haven't got as far as the assembly controller yet so that makes four tiles and so I was lucky I found this chest in the chest I also found a treasure map and potatoes so I could do that I went to the desert so today we're going to do Pneumatograph for a pressurized chests, a vortex cannon, iron blocks uh, in the in the um, in the pressure chamber. A lot less pressure. This, actually, I was told about this, but I already didn't know it. To be honest with you, if you, Adesh told me about that. The refinery insulation and the dispenser upgrade. I figured out that out how it works at last. So let's get started. I also installed storage drawers and I've put the stuff in here. So everything in here, I'd actually like to do logistics as well. Maybe we could do the logistics today. So we're getting a lot of seeds and you'll see I've got emerald seeds and diamond seeds. I can take those out. In fact, I'll put those in the chest that I've got the other seeds in. Because this very quickly gets full. Uh, that's surprising. Even though I wasn't really doing any sort of anything. I've actually upgraded this one. So this one's now put the inferior seeds in there because I don't need those for anything. And then in the chest of the chests of seeds in here, I've got this. So I could basically empty out everything I've got before. So I've got more than a stack of gold seeds, so I'll put those through there like this. Also, I'll put those into here, just shift them in like that. So that got upgraded, and this has got upgraded, and the watering cans got upgraded from mystical agriculture. Same as everything else. So a vortex cannon. Let's go and have a look at this. I think I need actually I'm wrong place. Let's just build it. So what do we need for the vortex cannon? That's about it right there. So we need some yellow dye, compressed iron air canisters, which is fairly straightforward. I've got enough for that. Let's just have a look. Too small for that. Have I got some redstone? No, I haven't got any redstone. We've got plenty in here, so we'll take it out of here. I've got redstone outside, of course. Oh, an Enderman. I can Enderman hopping around. Where is he? Because Enderpearls are quite useful. I did get a couple. Now, let's have a look. Air canister. I want to build one of these first of all. So we've got everything we need for that. Four iron, one, uh, one lever. I've got lots to be missing. Just one compressed iron. I've got some blocks of compressed iron. I was going to do that as a, as a task anyway. So here we've got ten. So I can take out all of these 10 here, 10 iron blocks. I'm using iron up very rapidly, I have to be honest with you. So let's go and put this in here. I get quite a lot of lag when the tree farm starts being operation. So this uses a lot less pressure isn't to actually um, get this into the, into the chamber here, as you can see. It'll go straight through, of course. And they're probably already converted and come straight out again. Let's go to the window. I should really move this stuff around. It's already gone out, isn't it? <laughs> so this chest. And there was something else that Desh told me. I don't need to put in here. Uh, a hopper. Let's get rid of this hopper. Let's pick up this chest. Slowly. Because because the chest is slightly smaller than the, than the block, we can still access the interface on here. So let's put it straight down like that. So we should be able to access the pressure chamber interface, which we can. Good. That's really very important. Um, I put some redstone lamps here, and I've set this to charge. In fact, you can see it's charging because I'm standing on it. So um, what will be charging will probably be the pneumatic craft wrench, I think, and maybe this air canister is also charging. I don't really want the air canister to charge. But as I'm standing on this, it's charging up, and then the um, and the lamp comes on, as you can see. So this is basically redstone set to charging. 
So it's handy to see what's going on sometimes. So yellow dye, no problem. I just need some bone meal. Let's get some bone meal out of here. Now I've actually got a dye seed now as well, so we could actually make it that way. So a dye seed is over here. And it's one that glows like this. So I think we just need three. I think everything needs three for dyes. So yellow is like that, but I also got a sunflower. I can simply right click the sunflower like that and that'll give me two yellow dyes. Oh one sunflower and two yellow dyes, and the recipe for that one is like this three in a vertical row it gives us six yellow dyes. That's pretty good. Um so we should be able to make up the vortex cannon now. Not missing the air canister, I'm actually missing the oh. Yes, I've got the blocks of iron here, so let's just make a couple of these into guts. Not all of them, because then it gets my inventory gets full again. So let's do this one. I did find some air canisters as well. There's a village with a um, which is a reasonable distance away, and in this village is a, a pneumatic craft villager. So we can go and have a look at him sometime. So we need to get this thing charged up. Because what I wanted to use it for. I don't think it's got any interfaces as such. So let's just get on here and put it into this and get it charged up. It won't take too long, at least to get what we want. So it does tell us what it shoots air vol vortices, harmless projectiles which repel entities, shear animals, and destroy plants and leaves. Be careful with your time. It can also um, fling you a considerable distance, so beware of fall damage. So we've basically got to point it down. Oh, no up. While that's, while that's charging up, let's have a look at this dispenser upgrade over here. I was messing around with this thing, and it's all related to here. It says, right click any block to set the direction. So so now I'm facing this block here, for example, it's a chest, maybe better on the wall that doesn't move. Um, and that direction is east. So when I right click this, it's actually going to say it's going to set to west because it's direction that the block is going to you so for example if I wanted to go up you right click the bottom one so that would then eject up which of course is maybe a bit strange in fact let's just do it on here like this um, and you can shift as well so that's now ejecting to down so when I put this in here put this back into here let's take a bucket of oil out of here like this put it into this chest and have a look at the chest Oh, it's be quick, I'm not... So, sorry, it's a tank, a small flood tank. Everything's back in here. It's night time, I'm going to have a quick sleep. I'll see you in a few seconds. Oh, there's a creeper over there. I'm to watch out for him. I hope this... Oh, he's not going to do it. <laughs> number one, let's get number one in place. So he might come and tap me. See me now, so let's get rid of him. Are there any more mobs around? No, good. Actually, I've got this set up here like this, and this is actually inefficient. So let's just remove this one. If I break this and this, I'm using up two more pieces of redstone than I needed to. Let's put the chest back down. Oh, uh, the chest. Let's just put the lever back down again. I made a stack of levers. So that then allows this to be automatically turned off. Forgot about that. So that's that done. Now, I think this should be charged up here. It's charged up enough anyway because the light's gone off. So let's just take this. I've got some string lying around here. I'm obviously, my inventory is a bit on the got filled up very fast. Let's just get rid of some of this stuff that I don't need. I'll put the blocks of iron in here for the time being. And the logistics might call it. I found those as well in this village in a chest. Right, very generous it was actually. There was also a wrench on the wall. I didn't take the wrench because we don't need it. Right, so now it says I can blow. Sheer, sheer sheep. I haven't tried this. Let's try it. See if it works. Oh, it does. Oops. Might be blowing those animals out of. <laughs> it's actually blowing them out of here. Let's push them back in again if I can. <laughs> no, I can't. Right. That's actually not so convenient. <laughs> Didn't expect it to do that. But I've got, hopefully we've got enough wool for what I need next. How much wool have I picked up? Three. No, I've got nowhere near enough wool. That wasn't very good at all. 
But I've got a sheep running around. I'll tell you what, I'm just going to collect some wool the, the other way. Oh, there's some gunpowder there. And there's some saplings here. Let's put the saplings into this chest. Because the... Um, oh, I don't think I showed you that. I set this drone up here on this chest without any saplings. So it's now picking up... Um, it's not picking up the saplings, which means they're getting dropped, which is great because then, then the harvesting drone has enough time to actually pick up the saplings and replant the tree. Let's go to that. I'll just clear my inventory out and be back in a second. Right, I'm back. <laughs> As you'll see, I'm, my frame rate is now down to 20 frames per second, and it's all because of this tree. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's the harvesting drone that causes this, or if it's the... Um, the mod, the fast decay mod, I think maybe the fast decay mod does. So I might remove this because I don't honestly need a tree farm anymore because we've got wood seeds and with wood seeds we can basically make any amount of wood we want to of any type, which is great. Um, let's put those away, don't need those with me. So I've got all this red wool now, I've got pink wool, white wool and red wool. And what we're going to do is we're going to make some insulation for the um, refinery. I could have done this earlier, probably, but I wasn't sure that it actually existed in the pack. So we need some glass, and I've got 40 glass in here. So that'll do. So let's just have a look at this. So if I look, for example, at the uses of white wool, it tells you the different colours to start with. You can use it for villager trading, which is, which is interesting too. But one of the recipes is this, thermal lagging. You might have crap. Press shift for info. So it's a thin layer of insulating material which can be applied to the surface of heat using machines to prevent heat loss to the air it does not block interaction with the with the block behind it unless you're holding it any wrench or pickaxe or sneaking okay so that doesn't do that so let's just click this into place so we've got six of these uh, we should be able to do that again we've got six more and let's do the last one probably get so we've got plenty now we've got 18 I've ended up with a little bit of red wool. Let's just, I'm not sure I'm keeping the red wool to be honest with you. Let's put it in here to start with. And let's go and then come along here and insulate this tower. Um, so let's first of all remove all of these. So, of course, we've got ore excavation enabled. So, I'll just use a lever. Wait a few seconds. Good. So, now we should be able to put this insulating here on top of it. I think I've got one mistake I've done there. I'll have to do the top one. So let's go up first of all. What have we got for blocks? Some wood. Logs. Actually, oh, some planks. That's good. So we can put the one on the top here. Fill the lagging down. Shift right click here. Of course you can see yeah, he's transparent. That's nice. Nice. Um, let's just hold that down and drop down. So we can then put these on all of the sides. Got to hold shift, of course, because otherwise. So I only need two more. So we have this machine nicely insulated here. In fact, we could actually remove these ferns. So let's get the ferns out of the way, and then put these down here because we don't. It's really nicer to have that on anyway. The mod the vortex cannon and that. So now if I click the controller here it should be okay, it shouldn't tell me any problems. Um, not enough heat and no space for output. So now what we can do is we can start to use logistic drones on this. But this doesn't block the logistics drones, that's basically what it's all about. Um, so let's go and make some more small tanks and the logistics drone. I've got the bits and pieces for the logistics drone. I actually found them. All of the bits. I found these turbine rotors in here and I found some uh, which I haven't got with me so I've got these four here. So let's get this one set up. So the uses of this uh, are basically we can have a logistics module and different coloured frames. We'll come to those almost immediately as it happens. But first we'll make this logistics drone. These things aren't actually that expensive. Let's have a look at the recipe for those. It's just redstone around reinforced brick tiles. Reinforced brick tiles are just reinforced bricks, which are basically just reinforced stone, which is this one. So they're not too difficult to do. So now we've got the 
drone. Let's get it charged up, first of all, because it obviously has got to be charged up. I'm not sure what upgrades it's got in. Let's have a look, quick look. So it's got a magnetic upgrade, a speed upgrade, a volume upgrade, a standby upgrade, a security upgrade, and a life item upgrade. So let's get... I don't think it needs all of those. We'll certainly get the standby upgrade running because that's the most important one at the beginning for all of the drones as it happens. So let's, except for the programmable drone, which you can then do yourself. So standby drone needs a bed. I've got two pieces of wool here, which is not enough for a bed. I've got one white one. There must be some more. Let's go and shear sheep. Get the last quickly. I think there's one red sheep around here, which we should be able to quickly shear. We only need one. That's right, good. We only need one bed, and then we need four redstone torches. And we need some lapis. I really would like to do the lapis as it happens, to use the, the matrix, but we have actually got enough lapis when I'm coming here. I haven't got any in there, but I've got plenty outside. So let's get rid of these ferns, don't need those. So a, a bed. Yes, we've got enough wood for bed, so that's good. What else do we need? Four lapis. Um, redstone torches. Have I got this? I've got 14 redstone torches. So I just need four lapis. Is it night time again? I'll be back in a second. All right, just select the uses of the bed. And then we can make the upgrade for that. And we can install that into that. I think we would also make a... Um, let's have a look at the uses of this one. Actually, we can have a look at the use of lapis as it happens. So we can make a security upgrade which will prevent it going into water. We should do one of those, so we need some obsidian for that. And we would also want to make a... Not a magnet, because we haven't got plastic yet. Not an entity tracker, not a search item, that's all for something else. Um, what else do we want to do? Range upgrade, possibly. We'll see. The rest of those, I think. Having a quick look if there's anything else I'd like to do in this one. Oh, yes, this life item upgrade. Let's do that one. So, we need one clock, which is one redstone with four gold around it. And then four apples. You'll have noticed in the chest from the tree farm we're getting apples. There is another recipe for apples anyway. And I should have some in here. I don't have any there. I wonder if let's, let's look at this recipe for golden apple and the recipe for that. So we need these mist nature essence. Let's go and get some nature essence. I've got that. That was one of the things which is one of these special ones. It's really handy. Three of those in a diagonal. And the <laughs> direction is important. So we want I think that's the one, yeah, eight apples. So then we can make two of those upgrades. So let's have a look at the uses of these the clock probably the best one. Let's get a, a life item upgrade in here as well. And possibly a security upgrade is another one that's handy to have. Prevents, um, what does it do? Prevent, have I some thing? Yes, it, it, oh, I need some obsidian, don't I? It prevents water damage, drowning. Oops, missed. So let's get the uses of, which one should we use? Obsidian. So we've got those three upgrades. Let's go and put that into the into the drone here. So I heard this this guy going off. So he's obviously was shooting something. You see, I'm getting a lag again. I was like, <laughs> I'll have to get rid of, do something about this. I'm not sure exactly what to do. We'll test take the rotting flesh because we can do some really good trades for that. Obviously, the only point of doing villager trade now is possibly because of um, um, the Pneumaticraft villager. Let's get rid of these as well. Anything hovering around is going to be causing lag anyway. I have to ch check the. I should check this as well. See what the um, the chunks are. Maybe it's in a bad chunk. So right, let's go to this one. It's charged up as you can see. So let's put into this these upgrades. So we'll have the standby upgrade, the life item upgrade, and the security upgrade. Uh, it should be fine. So let's take this one out of here now. 
So what we can then do is have a look at the uses of these. So what we'd like to do is to take fluid out of here and put it into a tank. I still haven't got any plastic, so I can't make any tank except for small tanks. But small tanks are fine. There are 32 buckets. And that'll keep that thing running for quite a long time. So for that, we need some iron grates. Have I got those iron grates somewhere? Tell you what, I'll get the ingredients ready and I'll see you in a few seconds. Right, so I've made the four tanks. Let's now let's make up some of these. I need some more of these. So let's make some more of these. This is reinforced stone. I'll have to convert that to reinforced bricks. And then the reinforced bricks we have to then convert into reinforced brick tiles and then we can basically make these logistics modules like this and need some redstone i took redstone out of my inventory let's put that over there um i've actually got some more apples i think i was going to make another um upgrade but i'm going to not i'll put the apples back in here so let's get on with this now so we need at least two more of these i want to make I've made four so we've got five in total which is great so now the next thing we want to do is we want to make this now this is the requester frame so this basically pulls items from well that was a long time um that pulls items out of the thing so let's make one of these up so we need different colors so we need purple red green yellow and blue so i've got the dyes in here so look at these of these so we need yellow is this one so we'll make six of these up i've got seven already so that's fine um green let's have a look for green in fact my probably easiest way is to click this one here and click that in we've got some green blue is the same thing so we've got the blue dye so it's just this pattern i'm not even going to try to remember these patterns red is this one which of course we can do from flowers because we've got those all ones and then purple this purple dye is made like this so we've got six purple dyes. So that's all those new recipes, as you can see. So let's make up. First of all, we need requester frames. So what we can do is use a storage frame here, a logical storage frame, uh, a logical default storage frame. It's probably the one we're going to make up. So we're going to do, put four tanks. And we're going to make up these. So what do I need? Some sticks. Uh, have I got some wood with me? I've got one stick. So we're actually going through quite a lot of sticks. Is it? I've got 45 wood in here. That's 45 oak. I can actually make oak now anyway, so we should probably don't care about that. Let's do eight. Let's do eight. It's give me 32. It should give me 64 sticks. It has good. So let's make up the default requester frames, first of all. And I want four of these, so let's just take out two sticks. So we forced to get. Oops, I want four, didn't I? So we're forced to get oh we'll get 32 ah oh, yeah that was a mistake no one <laughs> too many but it doesn't matter very much so we'll actually make a, a requester frame now and a pro active provider frame we need an active provider frame eight of those oh i was really careless i didn't see that so what else do we need we need logistics storage frames default passive provider and the passive Providers will only provide to logistics requester frames. So let's get on and see how this works. We've got some more recipes up here and a lot of lag. Oh, yes, of course, because the tree farm is doing its business. So, what we're going to do is we're going to attach to these here provider frames. So let's do that. Or act provider frames. So they will provide to the three and four. Now these are configurable and I haven't set up the configuration, so we need to build another tool, don't we? So let's just set up these four chests like this. I think that'll do as it happens. All these four tanks. It's the same thing really in a way, it's just a <laughs> just a different like that. I need to make the logistics configurator. That's actually uh, one of the most important bits. You can't really start. You can't right click doors with this either. She is, you can. So we need the wrench here, the logistics wrench. So we should almost be able to make this up actually. So we need one of these. I've got no iron. I must have put all my iron down here. So I've got 
compressed down. I've got 13 in here. Let's take those out. I think that might be enough. Let's get rid of some of these dies I've got with me. I don't need these either. I'm going to have space for that one in there. I'll find a bit. No, I'll tell you what I'll do. Let's put those in this chest at the back here. This is my sort of uh, overflow chest at the moment. I think this is all I want to do. Yes, good. So, right. Let's just sort my inventory because I sort of split those up. So, the logistic configurator. We need another air canister. And I'm missing redstone again. What I'm doing is I'm only using as much as I need at any one time. So, let's try that again. Air canister. Click that into place. Configurator. What are we missing? Just one piece of red dye. Which I now put away into this chest, of course. Let's get that out of here. And then we should be able to make the logistics come in. And this, of course, also needs pressure. So it needs charging up. Let's go and do that. Smart configuration. Good. It doesn't need much pressure. But it does need some. But we can even stand on this, but it'll be faster if we do this. And I would actually like to get some speed upgrades into here, because it's very slow without it. So now we've got our logistics drone, and it should give us some information about this whole press shift. So it's a 31 by 31 by 31 area. So it's an airborne robot that performs logistics tasks defined by inventories and fluid tanks attached to logistics frames. So it's a centered position. So we want to find the position that's central. So we just put it down. Maybe here would be fine. And then we have to define what they're going to do. So let's get this out of here first of all. It's got enough pressure now. 2.4 bars. Uh, oops, wrong one. Try that again. So we can look at all of these chests here. Um, Let's start with this one. What should we put in here? Let's put diesel in here. So you've got, you can click this here, and then you can select diesel. So that's LPG. This is diesel. I have only got a pneumatic after pressurized, which is producing liquid. So we've just got water, oil, molten plastic, memory essence, lubricant, lava, LPG, kerosene, gasoline, etching acid, and diesel. Those are basically just the materials for that. So we want to select this one here like that escape and then you can shift right click this and if you look at this it should give us some help somewhere where does it tell me JEI okay you can drag items and fluids but yes I know that already where does it tell me oops doesn't tell me anything there facing west filter settings so it's a white list so it's going to do this there should be a button it should tell me somewhere what I can do anyway I do know if I shift right click it It'll double it. If I right click it, adds one. So the capacity of these tanks is what? Let's have a look. Small fluid tank, 32 buckets. So we can go back over here. Let's take the configurator and configure it. So I've got six buckets. So I'll shift right click this until I get 32, which isn't what I want. If shift left click it, it'll take it down one. And then right click it, it'll take it up. 32 is one of those numbers which is a good one. So that'll put 32 buckets of diesel into there. So let's put this drone down and see what it does. So sure enough it's gonna taken that and it's filled this here with oh it's actually doing its own thing which is actually pretty good. Hopefully it'll fill this one all up so I don't need to specify anything, it just fills them up automatically. Fantastic. So as soon as that of course is emptied all of these out so we've got all of these fluids now in here this should turn on again if I've got if I've got stuff in it so let's have a look that's off so this is then pressure so this is heating so this is then processing as you can see it temperatures required slightly less than it should be so all we need to do is just turn that off for a few seconds turn it back on again push the heat back up again and that should then recover right fantastic so what and you'll see it's now doing this. Now, I don't really want it to behave like that, do I? It's going to be flying around, taking every little drop out. So what we can then do is we can then configure this. So this time we right-click this in 30 deep buckets, and we should be able to say, filter settings, no. 
Where do I say this? I need to say that I only want... Oh, I don't think I can do it on, on these particular... Um, on storage ones. I think I have to have an re active request to frame for that. So, for example, if I make another a tank, and we'll do that now, and we'll put a, a request to frame on it, and request a small amount of fluid. So we're back in a second with a new tank. So I've got a new tank, and I'm going to put a, requ a request to frame on this one this time. So it, this is a, a logistics request, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Can we right-click this? Yes, we can. Good. And this time it's got this minimum order size. So we, for example, let's just make this to 100. I don't know, that's minimum items. I want the minimum order size, which is this box. That's 100 millibuckets, so it's not going to deliver anything in there. Here we can specify the fluid one to do. So let's say, I think LPG will give me plastic. Diesel is probably what I would like to do. So let's just have some diesel in there. And then we can should be able to press escape. And does it tell me show slot interaction? Ah, oh, there, that's better. This is the one that's, that wasn't there before, was it? So right click's one, left click is minus one. Shift right click is double, shift left click is half, and middle click is to empty it out. So for example, we want to have in here, say let's say two buckets. Let's come back over here, let's just say two buckets, so shift right click it. And then we can use this one on a tank. So let's put the tank down here, for instance. Well, I'm something I think of where would be a good place to put it. Well, move, I can always move it anyway. So let's put this down here and then this. And then the drone should take out from here, as it happens, because this is a storage one, and put it into here. So in here we should have two buckets of diesel. And sure enough, we've got exactly two buckets of diesel. So that's how that works. So then from this we can then set, set up processes to do things with it. Now diesel, so we'll look at diesel. The uses of this from a thematic process we can make lubricant. Now lubricant is a key ingredient. So look at this one. Uh, it doesn't tell me I can use it in that one to go back. So I'll go for a bucket if you look at the uses of a bucket of lubricant. Okay yes. Lubricant? No, oh, that's not lubricant, that's diesel, isn't it? Let's have a look. So a bucket of lubricant around sugar and uh, lapis will produce a speed upgrade, which is a really good one to have. <laughs> I was watching, oh, I think this drone often got its stuff, but you can see every time it farms, the frame rate drops to horrible levels. So uh, in here I've got some. I'll move those out of the way. So now we can start to do other stuff, but I think I'm going to have to wait till next time. There's one thing on my list I haven't done yet. Let's do that straight away because it's a very handy thing to have, and that's a ch reinforced chest from pneumatic after a pressurize. These things are great, um, and we get an achievement for it. Let's just put it down. Let's put something in it. No matter what we put in it, like this, I've got to be a bit careful because I actually did something and I lost it. Let's break it. Okay, let's put it down again. It's got the same contents in here. You <laughs> see, the drone wants to pick it up. It's generally very fast. So, what I want to do now is to make another logistics drone. I think it's maybe too far for the other one. What I would like to do is I'd like to use this one here as a provider. So, let's put in an active provider frame in here is that one. I'm not sure that I need to put in two for two chests like this. Like that. So we'll just try it out. And in here we're going to put a default storage frame on the controller. I don't know whether this actually works. If it doesn't work we'll have to just put everything like that. So then anything from here will go here. I'll just quickly go and make another drone and be back in a second. I'm back with a charged up drone with a standby upgrade. Let's see if this works. It's going to put stuff out here and it's going to put it into here. And that's fantastic. Actually, it's going to do one at a time. So if I need to do anything on here, I would want to increase the volume. Um, which one is it? The uh, inventory upgrades. Put some inventory upgrades into this. And then it won't do so many trips. I've done the same thing for the... Um, 
for here, let's have a look at this. You'll see it's things taking things out. So it's, as it goes, we've sorted it out. You should see, I'm not sure what order it's doing things in. I've got a rose in there too, probably don't want this in there. It won't get taken out anyway. So put the rose, rose back in. It's not going to get taken out because it's got no place to go. In fact, the diamond seeds haven't got any place to go in here anyway. So it's going to take out everything that it can. But what I'll do between episodes is I'll upgrade that. So that's it for this episode. I hope you've enjoyed it and learned something new. As you can see, my uh, logistics drone is working away nicely. Anyway, until next time, I wish you all the best. Next time, I'm definitely going to be doing some plastic. Or maybe we go and visit the village. Let's have a look. If I get enough emeralds, we'll go and visit the village. Until then, I wish you all the best. Bye for now.